Welcome to episode one of the most useful Apple Watch apps where every month I'll show you the most useful apps to take the full potential of your Apple Watch. Let's kick things off with Cheat Sheet. And Cheat Sheet is a very unique and different way and a different perspective on note taking. It's available on the iPhone and on the Apple Watch. And it's basically, we all forget about those numbers. I mean, I can personally never remember my passport number or my social security number, or maybe there's always a phone number that I always have to remember, or maybe it's a passcode to a building. I always forget my uncle's building passcode number. You can add a cheat sheet on your iPhone and it will sync directly on your Apple Watch or you can do it directly on your Apple Watch using your voice or the actual keyboard. The most useful part about the app is that you can add a specific cheat sheet to a complication on your watch face. So every single time you pull up your wrist, you'll see that number. So if there's an, a specific number that you always need access to, one, try to remember it. I mean, that's the obvious, but if it's too complicated and too long, you can add it um, directly on your complication or as a widget on your iPhone. Definitely worth to try out and it's a free app. So, I mean, if you forget things all the time, you know what to do. So one of the things that frustrated me the most when I was in college was my calendar was synced with my student life, right? So I had so many classes mixed with my personal life whenever I looked at my calendar. So every time I looked at my calendar, I was like, wow, I'm stressed. And that's where class timetable comes in. It's a very visual, a very beautiful, and a very minimal way to check your schedule. So you can manage your student life in the most minimal way possible. You can add tasks. So if you've got homework or assignments due, there's a specific part of the app built for that. You can also choose the colors of your classes because everything is super visual and you can even add it as a widget on your home screen and also as before a complication right on your watch face of your apple watch timetable is free but if you want the whole experience there's also in-app purchases now i know you're addicted to watching my videos that's why i wanted to recommend you watch tube so you can watch my youtube videos directly on your wrist because WatchTube is an app that lets you watch YouTube videos right on your wrist. You can watch full YouTube videos like the one you're watching right now. You can watch YouTube shorts right on your wrist and you can even check out the history of previous videos you've actually watched. There's also a search bar so you can search for a specific video that you want to watch. Now, why would you want to watch YouTube videos on your wrist? I don't know. Maybe you don't want to bring your iPhone a specific day and you just with your cellular Apple Watch, you wanted to I don't know, man. It's fun. WatchTube is completely free, so it's definitely worth checking out. So if you don't want to watch YouTube videos right on your wrist, how about gaming on the Apple Watch? Because every single month, I recommend you four apps and one game on your Apple Watch. So Hit the Island is the game that I wanted to show you. If you've got the iPhone 14 Pro, you can actually use the actual dynamic island and your enemy will be the dynamic island. It is super fun to use on the iPhone and on the Apple Watch Ultra, you've also got a little dynamic island. I don't know, if you're an Apple fan, you're probably gonna admire this little stupid thing. But if you wanna have a fun game on your Apple Watch, Hit the Island is free as well, and it's definitely worth checking out. Now, the last Apple Watch app that I wanted to show you is not an Apple Watch app, and it's horribly designed, but it does the job really well and it gives you something to your Apple Watch that you're going to love. So Pass the Wallet is the app that I wanted to show you and it's a very poorly designed app as I said, but it allows you to scan rewards cards from Target, Walmart, and it's basically a database of passes that is public to the world. So everybody has added their own designs to specific business. So if you're anywhere one from the world i've got like this local grocery store here in spain and somebody from spain actually designed the pass for it so why am i telling you about this horribly designed app for the iphone it basically allows you to download a specific pass to your apple wallet so concluding it basically if you've got a physical rewards card from your local grocery store it will allow you to store it directly on the wallet app on your iPhone, which then goes directly on the wallet app of your Apple Watch. So in my personal Apple Watch, I've got all the rewards cards from all my grocery stores, from all the clothing stores that I purchased from 
which is incredibly useful. So the same app that you've got Apple Pay in, you will have all your other rewards cards. You're welcome. I know, incredibly useful. So that's it for the best Apple Watch apps. Tap this video right here if you want to watch my review of the Apple Watch Ultra and tap this video right here if you want to watch more episodes of the best Apple Watch apps.